Good morning. It'll be afternoon by the time you read this, Twitter family. But uh, as I said in an earlier Twitter, I thought this would maybe be the best way to get some questions answered. I'm getting a lot of uh, uh, requests and, and emails and friends from Michigan, people from Indiana, uh, all kinds of different people that I would love to get back to. But I thought I'd take five, six, seven minutes to do it this way because of the week that we have. We're in a very busy time. And... Uh, it never stops. We start camp tomorrow morning. It rolls right into uh, Monday. Then we have more camp next weekend, a little time off. Camp again the following week. Uh, there'll be a little bit of a break before we move right into recruiting. And we're constantly having recruits up here, uh, sometimes every day, uh, a lot of times every other day, which has been good. But let's get right into the topics here. Uh, Coach Izzo, I don't know what he's going to do. I talk to him a lot. Uh, I talked to him yesterday. I haven't talked to him since he's been back from Cleveland. As usual, those conversations are always private between the two of us and, and our families, and, and I never share them. So I hope it doesn't offend anybody that I haven't been able to talk about him, but I, I never choose to do that. I think he'll do what he think is, thinks uh, is best for him, best for his family, best for his growth as a coach, and uh, I'm sure he'll make the right decision. Uh, for the people that, that bring up the what-if questions, whether it's in the print, whether it's in uh, television, whether it's friends and, and, and or acquaintances asking me, I'm in Indiana. It doesn't make any difference what job opens in the country. When you take a job like Indiana, you take it because it's one of the great jobs in all of sports. You can take it out of the equation of just being a great college basketball job. This is one of, the, this is one of those destination places that most people never even dream about getting. And I was one of those people. So Indiana is exactly the place that we're going to continue to work and build. And it's a hard job. It's a hard challenge. You don't take a job like this thinking that anything about it is going to be easy. You certainly don't take it two years ago and think that it's going to be as difficult as it has been. But it has been. And it's a great, great thing to try to undertake day in and day out to get this thing back where it's got to be. Uh, good stories this week. I know we saw some quotes on the APR. I'm proud of what's going on here academically. I'm proud of the entire athletic department because it's an honor to recruit to this university. It's an honor to have people be a part of this education fabric here. It's so well run, and it doesn't have anything to do with sports or the current times. It's been that way for decades, much like this program has been. It's been that way since the beginning of time. We love selling what it means to be a student athlete at Indiana University, and we'll continue to do that. The discipline of this program is one people are going to understand that it is a privilege to be here academically, and we're going to continue to push it that way at every turn. I don't get a lot of media requests on conference realignment. I'll just tell you what I what I would say if, if we ran into each other off the street. And, and, and as you see the speculation, most of you, uh, most of us as coaches, will know at the same time. We'll know when we read it. We'll know when we hear it. I don't have any inside information on anything, and frankly, I don't ask for it. I don't, I don't, I don't look to find it. There's so many other things going on. I think it's a lot of fun uh, as a fan of sports to be able to watch and see how it goes, but it doesn't have anything to do with our daily job of trying to make this program better. And we trust the people that are in the decision-making mode to make that happen. And uh, that's kind of where it stands. We've had some movement in our staff. If you've seen it, Jeff Watkinson has taken a job to work with Eric Gordon full-time. I think that is a great thing for Eric Gordon. And Eric Gordon being the family member that he is of Indiana University, uh, it will be fantastic. Eric is on that cusp of being one of the greats in the NBA. I think Jeff will help put him over the top. I'm anxious to see what kind of coach he gets in L.A., what kind of coaching staff he gets. As much as I would be with any of the players that I coached at Marquette or the guys that are in the NBA at Indiana, just as I will for the future of guys here but or that, that go to that next level. But Jeff will really help him. It's a loss for us, but it's one that, that when you have really good people, it's like having eight guys go off and be head coaches in our time at Marquette, the most recent being Brian Wardle, who moved up at Wisconsin Green Bay. You want your best people to chase their dreams. You want your best people to be able to, to embark on their passions. If you have a situation where you have to move somebody like we had to do, you can't get them out of the door fast enough. You know, and that's one of the pitfalls of decision-making. That's one of the pitfalls uh, in jobs. But when you have somebody that you really care about, you want what's best for them. And that's exactly what we've done. But I can promise you, 
It wasn't like I had to put my head up in the air and wonder what am I going to do next. We're in full process to finding somebody that will be great to help make our players better strength-wise, conditioning-wise, toughness-wise, fitness-wise, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, you name it. We're going to find somebody that can really, really help us, much like Jeff did. So we're in full process on that. I've already had someone in to visit with, and I'll have more depending on how depending on how this goes. But we're moving fast in that direction. What else, J.D.? Well, I need uh, a breath. <laughs> well, obviously, uh, you know, talk a little bit more about summer camps and how, from a coaching perspective, that that's really the grassroots. That's really where every coach who's ever elevated himself to a head coach. How do you, how is it for you in that time of frame of year, that time of year, where summer camps really take you back to when you started off? Well, I just think it's 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 a combination of that with what you what you learned uh, as a youngster, what you've learned as a coach. It's a great training ground. I, I it's 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 a challenge right now because so many of the coaches that you had work your camps can't work them now due to these new NCAA rules. I'm being involved with prospects, and it's it's we don't have enough time on that video to go through all of those different details. But you've got to really, really handpick your staff. You've got to, you just can't throw a wide net out there and see who you can fish in. You've got to go get the people that you want. And I feel good about that. It's going to turn everybody up in our coaching staff to really make sure that our antenna is in a complete teaching mode. I think the fundamentals that kids are going to get in these camps are going to be outstanding. We're going to have a chance to push them, prod them, motivate them, inspire them, uh, be critical of their game, uh, give them advice. Uh, give them encouragement and tell them how good a job they're doing. We're going to coach them. We're going to coach them, whether it's a camp on the weekend, whether it's a day camp for young kids or anything else in between. We're going to coach the young people that come through here, and I'm excited about it. I mean, we are really, really excited about it. We'll have a walkthrough for exactly what we want to do with camp here later today with our entire coaching staff. So we're excited about the directions of camps. We're excited about the kids that are coming. And I think they're going to have a great time. But I'll close this off. I'm probably, I'm probably missing something. But it's, it's a great time in Indiana. I'm sitting in Cook Hall uh, all the time. We have fans coming in from across the state, from across the country. We had a gentleman here, here from Verona, Italy, earlier in the week that wanted to see the building, that had come back to visit family, that made sure he wanted to see, or that made his family aware that he wanted to see the building. Those things are great. We're making strides. We're, we're going in the right direction. We don't have anybody under a 2.9 GPA. The young men in this program are working extremely hard in this offseason. We'll have our team in, in place for the second session where most of them, to the point of all of them, will be here. And uh, there's still always going to be news coming in and out of this program. But uh, I thought this would be the best way to get a few things across. And... Uh, we're excited about where we sit. We're excited about the fact that we've got so many good young players coming through here. We're excited about the fact that we're going to get a chance to work with some in our camps. And uh, most importantly, we're excited about the direction that we're heading because we've got as good a tradition and as good a fan base as anybody's got in the country. Thanks for listening. Have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. All right.